William James's concept of the right to believe by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. William James, 1842 to 1910, an influential American philosopher and psychologist, is well known for his concept of the right to believe. This concept, which he introduced in his essay, The Will to Believe, has sparked significant debate and discussion among scholars and philosophers. To begin with, it is essential to understand the context in which William James developed his concept of the right to believe. James was writing in the late 19th century, a time marked by significant advancements in scientific thought and a growing scepticism in the scientific world towards religious and metaphysical beliefs. In this intellectual climate, James sought to address the question of whether it is justified to hold beliefs that lack empirical evidence or rational justification. His essay, The Will to Believe, published 1896, was a response to the strict evidentialism advocated by philosophers such as W. K. Clifford, 1845-1879, who argued that it was always wrong to believe anything for which there is insufficient evidence. W. K. Clifford was a British philosopher and mathematician who is best known for his essay, The Ethics of Belief. In this essay, Clifford argues that it is always wrong to believe something without sufficient evidence to support that belief. He emphasises the importance of critical thinking and the ethical responsibility we have to base our beliefs on rational justification rather than mere wishful thinking or blind faith. Clifford's ideas have had a significant influence on the philosophy of science and epistemology. In The Will to Believe, James defends the idea that there are circumstances in which it is not only permissible but also rational to believe in hypotheses that are not supported by conclusive evidence. He introduces the concept of genuine options, which are choices between two hypotheses, both of which are living, forced and momentous. According to James, in such cases, it is within our epistemic rights to choose to believe one hypothesis over the other, even in the absence of sufficient evidence. One of the key components of James's concept of the right to believe is his emphasis on the subjective nature of belief. He argues that belief is not merely a passive acceptance of propositions based on evidence, but an active and voluntary commitment to a hypothesis. James distinguishes between two types of hypotheses, living and dead. A living hypothesis is one that is a genuine option for an individual, while a dead hypothesis is one that has been definitely settled and is no longer a subject of genuine option. Furthermore, James introduces the notion of passional nature of belief, highlighting the role of emotions, desires and practical concerns in shaping our beliefs. He contends that in cases of genuine options, our passions and volitions can legitimately influence our beliefs as long as they do not violate any epistemic rules. This emphasis on the role of emotions and volitions in belief formation sets James's concept apart from traditional evidentialist approaches, which prioritise rational justification and empirical evidence. Moreover, James's concept of the right to believe has significant implications for religious and moral beliefs. He argues that in matters of religion and morality, individuals often face genuine options for which there is no conclusive evidence either way. In such cases, James maintains that it is permissible and even rational to exercise the right to believe, guided by one's passions, volitions and personal experiences. This aspect of James's concept has been particularly influential in discussions about faith, religious pluralism and moral decision making. H. P. Blavatsky's assertion that all religions are a hypothesis challenges the idea of absolute truth in religious beliefs. This perspective, which views religions as belief systems, suggests that religious beliefs are based on assumptions, educated guesses or personal revelation rather than concrete evidence. It opens up the possibility 
for individuals to critically examine and evaluate different religious beliefs and even adhere to one or more of them without necessarily accepting them as ultimate truths. Blavatsky's viewpoint encourages a more open-minded and questioning approach to religious beliefs, emphasising the importance of personal exploration and the interpretation in matters of faith. In contemporary society, William James's concept of the right to believe continues to be a subject of scholarly interest and debate. The concept raises important questions about the nature of belief, the limits of rational justification, and the role of emotions and volitions in belief formation. Moreover, it has implications for diverse fields such as epistemology, ethics, philosophy of religion, and psychology. In conclusion, William James's concept of the right to believe represents a significant departure from traditional evidentialist approaches to belief formation. By emphasising the subjective nature of belief, the role of emotions and volitions, and the legitimacy of exercising the right to believe in genuine options, James offers a nuanced and compelling account of belief. His concept has sparked extensive discussion and has enduring relevance in contemporary philosophical and scholarly discourse.